ain't shit new. This shit real regular, you heard me? I know, I know you niggas might not be used to this, but just pay attention. Oh, All right, guys, so getting right to it, man. You guys do see the title of the video, and I thought I'd be a little more excited about this. Uh, I don't know if maybe, maybe it hasn't settled in yet, but yeah, the camera is gone, guys. And I know the last video I did say that it was not totaled, um, but what happened was the insurance company, oh, wait, let me adjust the seat. What happened is the insurance company had to do further inspection on the car. And after further inspection, it seems that the, the uni body is damaged. They said with the way the wheel bent it, it's, uh, it's all damaged, man. But yeah, so uh, the, the insurance of damage adjuster, he gave a more detailed explanation. But either way, I'm going right now to the to the body shop to get the car released to the salvage yard for the insurance company where they'll finalize the you know the the totaling i guess <laughs> if you want to call it that um but yeah guys the camera is gone um you know one side of me is like saying well maybe it's for the best and the other side is like damn you know that car was my baby but you know I'm, oh shoot i'm driving with the handbrakes i'm not used to this car man shoot but yeah so heading to the body shop right now so i could do some release forms but i don't know what's gonna happen next guys i know a lot of you guys on instagram were saying things like oh it's time to upgrade z at one time <laughs> but i don't know um I'm not really thinking too deep about a new car right now. I mean, it would be nice, but I don't know. I I, I, I want to finalize this process first so I could just uh, get it off my plate. So right now, what I'm trying to do, I already called my my bank that I'm financed with. Um, I don't know how complicated that process is going to be because right now the insurance company wants to write me a check because the car is in my name only. Because what happened is when I refinanced, that's why I didn't put this up a second. When I refinanced the car, guys, from CarMax um, to Capital One, the the uh, documents. There's a document spe specifically for transferring the title, and Capital One said CarMax was supposed to send that to them, right? Um, but they haven't gotten it yet, so. When the insurance company looks like looks at the title holder, right now it shows like, you know, I own the car, like I completely paid it off or something, but I, you know, that's not the case. So right now they're either going to write a check to me only so I could just pay Capital One towards the loan or they, you know, will write a check to Capital One, but I don't know if they can right now until their name is officially on the title. Um, I don't really want to wait that long because you know, I'm still responsible for the loans or interest is building daily. So hopefully, man, they can just write me the check, pay off the loan. Um, I, I don't know, guys. So right now I, I owe about 21, 22,000, I believe, on the on the car loan. And the, uh, shit, I lost my train of thought. What was I gonna say? Um, oh yeah, so I don't know if, the insurance company will write a check for more than the loan or uh, I just don't know the amount the insurance company is gonna write so I'm hoping it's as much as possible now I have gap I or I had gap insurance you know I thought I had it all the time but the thing is guys I read that when you get gap insurance with one bank if you refinance then the gap is lost I never knew that until like today so 
Man, that's that's crazy to me. I'm like, why would the insurance just drop? You know, but that's what I read online that the gap will drop. If somebody else knows in the con, you know, let me know in the comments. But you know, if I don't have gap, and let's say the insurance writes a check for fifteen or twenty thousand, you know, I do have to pay that remainder amount on the loan. So you know, cross your fingers for me, guys. Let's hope they give me as much as possible for the car or give the bank as much as possible so you know it's just completely off my plate um you know even if it's two thousand left i just don't want to be paying money on the car that's total now you know so but i'll turn this camera on back when we uh when we get to the, the body shop man so hopefully they can let me they can let me in there to film a little bit um, about the car. I think they said they will show me the details of the damage. So yeah, see you guys when we get there. Alright. So this is the body shop. And uh, I'm looking to see where the Camaro is at. <laughs> Hi, I'm here to uh, do a release to um, the insurance company. Okay. Um, they have the black Camaro here. The, yes. The, the total one. Exactly. Just go right inside the office. One of the girls would be more than glad to help you out. Right, thank you, sir. All right, so hi, my name is Nigel. I have the uh, the Camaro here, yes. the black Camaro. Oh, the pride, right? the yeah, pride. yeah. I didn't say the right story, guys. <laughs> I'm here to uh, do a release. And also, if I could in, like inspect it too, for, uh, you know, okay. for, yeah, thank you. Like it's one of those where I could have fought for you and try to get it, you know, done. But yeah, yeah, it's yeah. too too much structural damage, bro. Oh, oh, you were the one who did the whole inspection? Well, I did it with the insurance company. I had them come back because what they wrote was garbage. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they always try to like yeah. lowball and do all that, yeah. Yeah, I didn't think I didn't think it would be total. Uh, what it is, yeah. is uh, you'll see it now. Yeah, I'm, ki I'm kind of glad, but at the same time, I'm like, damn, my baby. It's a beautiful car, but <laughs> realistically, yeah. What ended up happening is you see these flaps here. Yeah. This is all high strength steel. So to do this, we would have to change the whole entire apron. All these are donor panels. All the interior would have to come out of the car, front seats, carpet, everything. Floor would have to be changed. All these panels would have to be changed. Yeah. Inner and outer, inner and outer quarters. So this All steel this, you said is the, this yeah, This one? is supposed to be welded on right here. Mm. And it peeled off. This is donor panel, and this is all high strength steel. This is all part of the rocker, which goes all the way to the front of the car. And then your engine uh, cradle right here. Yeah. All twisted. All the suspension would have to come out. Yeah. The exhaust got all kinked up. Yeah. All the control arms, all that. So it went over threshold. Damn. It's a beautiful car, man. But I know because I'm like so many other parts like still intact. So I'm like, uh, yeah. oh, somebody's gonna have if fun in the junkyard. If it was just this, and it was just a quarter inner and outer, you're straight. What killed it was that. Ah, uh, because that it's a whole rocker panel, and there's an inner and outer panel. You gotta cut the whole car apart. You yeah. know, realistically, it would ruin the structural integrity of the car. You're better off the day total that you know it look good, but you get hit there again, <laughs> and, it'll, yeah, and yeah. it won't be as strong. All right, all right, that's all cool. Right, if you need anything out of it, I'm gonna get oh, yeah. my guy to get me the tag. Yes, thank you, thank you. Hey right, man, last look inside my baby. Yeah, I don't know where which junkyard this is going, guys, but all I can say is that if you guys want some parts. So what happens in the what happens in the junkyard? Like who? Like uh, so, what happens now is uh, the company that picks it up is either going to be IAA or Copart. Yeah. They'll send it over to the junkyard. It goes through an auction. Um, they'll put it as either a rebuildable salv a salvage title card where you could buy it, fix it, and 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 use it. Yeah. Or they'll put it as a salvage title card where they're going to only buy it and sell the parts. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. But yeah. I would definitely go on Kelly Blue Book, KBB.com. Yeah. You know the mileage. You know it's an SS. Find out exactly what the car is worth with the mileage, with your zip code. 
It and was about 20, 22 last time yeah. I checked recently. You don't want, you don't want them to lowball you because they will try. Yeah. You ain't on it. At the end of the day, they're, they're, yeah. they're ready to take the money, but they ain't ready to give it back. Now somebody's going to have fun with it because they, they got a lot of good parts. And the car's in great condition. Yeah, a lot of good parts in there, man. I just replaced the tire. The car's in excellent Damn. condition. Oh, well, man. Time for a new... Uh, Maybe it's time for a ZL1, I don't know. That's the shit. That's shit. Let me get my guys. All right, guys. So I feel like we should have a talk about my next car. Um, so I've been thinking about this for some time now. And um, at first, I thought for sure that, you know, I, I was going to get a ZL1. I think a lot of people... Um, you know, made the assumption that, you know, this is time for a ZL1 or I'm going to get a ZL1. So, um, the way I feel right now, guys, is that I don't know anymore. Um, I, uh, I don't think my next car is going to be a ZL1. Um, matter of fact, I don't think it's going to be a muscle car. Um, I mean, <laughs> I know that is kind of, uh, that's kind of tough for me to say. Um, because you know the the Camaro like every time I look at it versus any car like I can just feel it like like this is the car I love like there are lots of other nice cars out there but something about the Camaro has just always been like damn there's truckers in my lane something about the Camaro has just always like just sit right with me and like every time in the past that I've said to myself that um, oh, you know, let me look at this car. I might get this car, you know, and then I start forgetting about the Camaro a little bit. As soon as I see one on the road, especially a, a ZL1, like this morning, I saw a ZL1 1LE in, in black, man, and holy shit, like, bro, the chills every time I see that car. So I know in my heart, like, this is the car that really, really, right? sits right with me the most but at the same time um i'm thinking that you know it might be time for a change so you know overall i like muscle cars um as far as dodge you know and uh ford uh you know they're they're cool cars too but honestly guys like if i go muscle car like it will always be a camaro i don't i, I would never I would never get the Hellcat um, or Scat Pie, um, you know, Shell, I don't even know all the models, like Shelby, the GT500, GT350. You know, all these are great cars, don't get me wrong, but I don't think like they would sit right with me. And like I said, I would always choose the Camaro first um, if I'm going muscle car. So the question is, what car is next, right? Like, if I don't go um, American Muscle, then what's next? Um, uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe that I might go German. Um, I am not a hundred percent sure yet, but you know, every every brand, every car has its pros and cons. Now, guys, as far as how soon I'm going to get another car, guys, that is another thing that I've been, um, <laughs> you know, I've been trying to like decide for myself because I could go ahead and get another car and maybe I could probably save up in like maybe maybe three months or so um, three months I would have side savings you know for another down payment for another car even in this crazy market but I am not too sure if I want to do that because right now um, you know I, I'm thinking that I, I want to save up more money um, I do have some other plans aside from the, you know, the car and the car content. Um, you know, I'll talk about that probably in another video. So like I said, guys, I don't know if I'm going to make the car priority, but you know, deep down, I'm a car guy, you know, um, I'm, I'm most happy when I'm driving a car I love. So, um, it's a tough decision for me right now, guys. Uh, I have to make a serious life decision. Uh, you know, my, another thing is that I don't want to just stop, you know, uh, producing the content that I had planned for this channel. So, um, yeah, it's it's a lot of decisions to make, guys. So, 
I will keep you guys updated. Um, if, aside from YouTube, guys, if you want to stay, if you want to stay uh, uh, updated, um, like between my videos, I've always said this in the past, but Instagram is the best way.